Okay guys, this uh, C6 van transmission dipstick is just not gonna work. If we ever have to pull this valve cover off, it's always gonna be a problem. So let's go ahead and see if we can shorten this sucker. So right now the dipstick sticks out of the tube exactly three and nine sixteenths. So as long as it's the same, we should be good. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I went ahead and cut off the uh, dipstick tube and cleaned it up a little bit with a wire brush. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some measuring now and see what we can do here. Okay, so what I did is I marked where this one was sticking out at the bottom and then I'll go ahead and mark the same thing, do some measuring and cut it off. Okay, so there's a new shortened dipstick tube. Uh, the length is correct. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the uh, tube now. But uh, in the video, I was heating up a couple of places. I'm not gonna be able to show you this very well, but. So the way this dipstick was made, it had a, uh, a larger section and then it was riveted to this, the smaller section. Um, I could have took those out, but those are really small rivets. I didn't wanna mess with the, doing that. And I wasn't sure I could weld these two metals since I'm not sure if one of them is treated or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, so um, what I had to do, you saw me heating the metal. So this this part up here is really stick, stiff and not flexible. So what I did is I heated it up so where it, it flexes. And now you can see it kind of conformed itself to the tube. So now it goes in and out really smooth. Um, so that wasn't that big of a deal. Hopefully that was okay. <laughs> I don't imagine it just breaking for any reason, but it basically... Like I said, it was kind of hard putting it in and out a few times, but um, it uh, now has conformed itself to the tube and works pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the tube, like I said, and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so there it is painted. Works pretty good. I'm going to uh, have to order the O-ring down there because it did have a little bit of a gash in it. So. Um, We'll get that going. Thanks for watching. We'll just keep going on the, the 52 here. Getting closer. Hey, take it from me. Jim is not an expert, nor is he a metallurgist, but sometimes it works out. So don't forget to comment, like, share. What am I forgetting? Subscribe. Subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe. Thank you. Hey guys, one more thing uh, I didn't mention in the video is uh, I cut the, uh, the dipstick a little bit short maybe an eighth of an inch but what i did to make up for that as i that thicker part of the metal there i just hit it a few times with the hammer to stretch it out slightly and we were right back to where we needed to be so it wasn't that big of a deal if you're worried about doing that so again thanks for watching <laughs>